does not need to build another highway. He does not even need to build another bridge. He doesn't even need to commission another industrial park. All he needs to do is to preside over a peaceful transition of power. Well, the Minister of Justice and uh, Constitutional Affairs, Horrible Nobat Mao, has said that a peaceful transition of power is the missing link in Uganda's democratization process that President Museveni should preside over. That is my toughest job, waking up the Ugandans who are pretending that all is well in our country. He said this in a meeting with experts in the justice, law and order sector, religious leaders and cultural leaders. What if the president of the country does not wake up tomorrow? Those are the things that keep Ugandans awake. And I'm in the best position to talk like that. Those of you who are pretending to be asleep, you may not be understanding what I'm talking about. But you may be woken up somehow. As indeed we have been woken up in 1966. We were woken up in 1971. We were woken up in 1979. We were woken up in 1985. We were woken up in 1986. Nobat Mao said that Uganda is at a critical moment where transitional justice is critical in designing Uganda's future. This is a very sensitive topic because it is about being told things you wouldn't want people to remind you about. For instance, if you have killed civilians, you are going to be face to face with the families of those civilians. Nobat Mao added that it is an illusion to pretend that all is well in Uganda, but actually all that is needed is a peaceful transfer of power. The government of Uganda where it is, and indeed our president, does not need to build another highway. He does not even need to build another bridge. He doesn't even need to commission another industrial park. All he needs to do is to preside over a peaceful transition of power that will compensate for all the uncompleted factories, all the uncompleted roads, and so on and so forth. To me, that was my motivation to be part of the government. Well, it should be remembered that President Museveni has previously refuted any discussions about the political transition despite an agreement signed with the DP president, Nobat Mao.